It seems like Red Bull rivals have something to say when it comes to their budget cap breach, and they aren't willing to let it go that easily. After Wolf, Zach Brown and Andreas Seidel, Steiner has joined the group of F1 executives and principals that are demanding the harshest possible penalty for Red Bull breaches. This is something that could go from a reduced budget cap in 2023 all the way to a deduction of points in 2021, and Verstappen losing his maiden championship. The possibilities are huge, and although we have to wait and see what the verdict for Red Bull will be, their rivals won't sleep well until it's brought to light. Gunther Steiner from Haas has spoken recently about this issue, saying that Red Bull's actions are something that demands a harsh penalty, and that the FIA needs to take action. There have been concerns as to whether the FIA is transparent enough when dealing with this case. And according to Steiner, the governing body needs to go beyond a financial fine and apply a harsher penalty for the Austrian team. There must be consequences. I think the FIA must take action. It doesn't have to be tomorrow, but it does need to be worked through, so that we set a sign for the future that no one else can do it, and you don't just get an advantage by breaking the rules and paying a fine. But I think it has to be very carefully thought about how it's approached. Steiner joined the list of Wolf, Brown and Seidel in bashing Red Bull and their spending in the 2021 season, which just adds to the narrative that the FIA is under pressure to bring the fairest possible penalty available. Taking the championship off Verstappen's hands would be equally as controversial as the way that he earned it. And given the fact that the FIA has been involved in a lot of controversies in 2022 with the porpoising rules and the possible leaks, that is the last thing they currently need. Speaking of leaks, Red Bull has threatened to take legal action against Mercedes when it comes to their accusations of breaching the budget cap. According to reports, Christian Horner's team is highly doubtful that Shaila and Rao has leaked information to Mercedes when it comes to the budget cap applications, because Mercedes came out with these allegations prior to the FIA announcing everything. When these allegations came to light by Mercedes, Horner threatened to take legal action against anyone who tried to put a bad light on Red Bull. However, now that they have been proven guilty, it seems like the Austrian team is not so strong after all with all the legal actions. Still, they do have a point when it comes to the leaks, as we've seen a similar scenario with Mercedes and the second floor unit in Canada, when they managed to mount it just 24 hours after it was announced legal at Thursday's conference. But where did Red Bull spend their money? According to Auto Motor and Sport, and now the Dutch broadcaster Ziggo, the salary of Adrian Newey is something that is considered to be the main reason why the Austrian team went over the budget cap. Nui is one of the team's highest paid employees, and there is some debate as to whether he is a Red Bull employee or if the contract is with Adrian's company. Red Bull claims that he works directly for the team, so according to the rules, he's not included in the spending limit. The FIA does not agree with this as he is engaged via his firm, and this means he does not fall under the exceptions to the limit, said Zigo. According to Horner, the team will take legal action against these accusations, since they came much prior to the budget cap breach becoming a real thing. Back then, Horner didn't even think that his team would be declared guilty, so the FIA's verdict must have been a true shock to him. When talking about the legal action that the Austrian team plans to take against the foul mouths, Christian Horner said, Unless there's a clear withdrawal of those statements, we will be taking it incredibly serious and looking what the options available to us are. It is absolutely unacceptable to be making comments of the type that were made yesterday, that are totally defamatory to the team, to the brands and even to Formula One. It is a private submission between the team and the FIA. So how on earth can any team know the details of our submission? How on earth can any team know that the team is in breach or not? We don't even know if we're in breach. We don't even know until next week, until the process has been completed. Perhaps when these accusations are made, people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. And we take umbrage and extremely seriously the remarks that have been made. But what was the response of Toto Wolff and the other principles that sparked a real debate on the grid? According to Wolf, if Red Bull is penalised by paying a fine, then he's ready to commit a breach of the budget cap in 2023 and just pay whatever amount of money that the FIA will give his team. This would mean that the budget cap will just become a laughing stock and not many teams will respect it if the penalties are just going to be financial ones. Another thing that doesn't sit well with Wolf is that a 5% breach of the budget cap is a minor one. According to him, even a $500,000 upgrade is considered a vital one in the championship outcome, let alone spending 5 million more in a season. It is a so-called minor violation, but I believe that the definition is not completely correct. If you spend 5 million more than the limit, it is still a minor violation. But the impact on the championship is significant. We always monitor closely which parts are brought back to the track by the top teams in each race. And for the last two seasons, we can see that there are two teams that are the same and another that instead spends more. So you could understand spending an extra 500 grand can make a difference. According to Zach Brown, it's evident that Red Bull committed cheating by the book, and that is something that the FIA needs to address properly. However, 
He praised the FIA for their transparency and the way that they've been handling the case, saying that if it went public with all the information they have now, it could just spark more rumours. That is why he believes that the governing body is doing the right thing behind closed doors, but does need to provide updates from time to time for the other executives to know where the case with Red Bull currently stands. When talking to Ben Salaam in a private letter, Brown wrote about the Red Bull's cheating and breaching of the budget cap. As the letter said, the overspend breach and possibly the procedural breaches constitute cheating by offering a significant advantage across technical, sporting and financial regulations. The FIA has run an extremely thorough, collaborative and open process. We've even been given a one-year dress rehearsal in 2020, with ample opportunity to seek any clarification if details were unclear. So, there is no reason for any team to now say they are surprised. The bottom line is, any team who is overspent has gained an unfair advantage both in the current and the following year's car development. We don't feel a financial penalty alone would be a suitable penalty for an overspend breach or a serious procedural breach. There clearly needs to be a sporting penalty in these instances, as determined by the FIA. After this, Brown wrote about what his team sees fit when it comes to penalising the Austrian team, saying, We suggest that the overspend should be penalised by way of a reduction to the team's cost cap in the year following the ruling and the penalty should be equal to the overspend plus a further fine, i.e. an overspend of 2 million in 2021, which is identified in 2022, would result in a 4 million deduction in 2023. In addition, we believe there should be a minor overspend sporting penalties of a 20% reduction in CFD and wind tunnel time. These should be enforced in the following year to mitigate against the unfair advantage the team has and will continue to benefit from. Although many believe that the penalty towards Red Bull is going to be in financial form, the former president of the FIA, Bernie Ecclestone, believes that the penalty for the Austrian team will be much harsher than we're all expecting. Andreas Seidel is one of the principals that shared his thoughts on the budget cap breach. As he added, we know exactly what we're spending, three and a half million a year in parts that we brought to the car. So then you can see what difference it makes to spend another 500 grand. It would be a difference. Seidel also made his feelings clear when it came to the FIA's action, saying that any clear violations must be clearly punished. What's more interesting is that the teams aren't so much upset with Red Bull's violation as they are with the FIA's decision that 5% is considered a minor violation. Still, this is something that Red Bull isn't responsible for, and although they committed a breach of the $145 million budget cap in 2021, they aren't to blame that the governing body thinks that this breach is considered a minor one. That is one of the reasons why Total Wolf considered breaking the budget cap in 2023 intentionally and paying whatever fine is thrown at his team, since it will be worth it if his team manages to get itself back on the top.